All right, so you guys have probably already read the title and uh, you know what this video is about, so let's just dive straight into it. Now, I've got Addictive Keys loaded, um, so just a piano VST, and I'm just going to double click and create a new MIDI clip. Now, to get that famous sort of drill sound, the piano sound, um, it's actually really simple to do because there's not too much involved in actually creating this whole drill piano dark sort of element uh, to the track. So let's go to, um, I'm going to pencil in one chord and I'm going to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing this. So I'm going to be putting in a minor chord. Now, usually drill is actually made in minor keys, but do experiment. If you want to make a drill track in a major key, uh, it's up to you. Um, I'm probably going to use a minor key, but sometimes I actually do use a harmonic minor as well. Uh, it's just a little bit darker. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's just a minor scale with the seventh raised. So um, if we're playing a C minor scale, and we find out what that seventh is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just want to raise that up by half a step and then go back to the C. So the harmonic minor scale, well, C harmonic minor scale will sound like this. And do you see that extra sort of darkness it gives? It almost sounds really Eastern, which can be really cool in this sort of music. So getting back to it, I've got an A minor chord. I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit and uh, I'm going to change my tempo as well because I'm actually at 120. Let me change to 140. 141 will do. Now I've got this A minor chord over here and if I play it, you can already see and really hear it sounds pretty dark. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that over. And uh, with drill, there's only a very little bit of movement. So the chords are very similar, especially the darker sort of um, original drill sound. So let's pop this down by one note. Let's just see what happens. And you can actually hear the drill sound coming out now. So all I've done is gone from this minor chord to a sus2 chord. And the only thing that I've done to this was literally just drop that middle note. Now, we can repeat this over one more time, uh, but it might get a little bit stale. It might start sounding a little bit boring. Sounds fine, but I think I want to change that last chord over here. So let's uh, actually bring this up. That sounds pretty cool. Now, at least we've got some sort of variation, right? And uh, from here, what I usually do is I select the middle notes and I press shift and up on the keyboard. So it sort of spreads the whole sound out like this. So we get more of an open voicing because you need to remember, we're going to be pitching this whole piano thing down a little bit later on. Uh, we're going to bounce it to audio, put some effects on it, and it will sound more and more like drill as we get going. So I'm going to press play. Perfect. It sounds pretty good. Um, still need to make some sort of counter melody on top I'm hearing, but uh, we'll get to that in a sec. So I am actually going to put a little bit of Cable Guys Halftime plugin. Now, if you don't have this plugin, there are some other alternatives. I'm not sure if Ableton actually has a Max for Live device that is sort of similar to Halftime, but um, if not, you can always pick up Halftime by Cable Guys. I know it's really cheap anyway. And this VST will essentially Halftime um, what my piano is doing. Obviously, I can change the timings and stuff over here. And I'll just give you a quick example. So I'm going to have the half time set to one bar. I'm going to press space bar. And we can already hear that drill sound starting to pop through. Now, what happens if I put it on a quarter? Let's just see what happens. That's pretty cool. We get some sort of uh, ducking, some sort of cutting every quarter. So sounds sounds pretty cool, but I'm going to stick with one bar just for now. I might actually come back and change that. Most likely, I probably will come back and change it. And uh, I'm going to select this and just move it just uh, down in pitch a little bit. Much better.
And from here, we can actually add some sort of counter melody on top of the chords right now if we wanted to, or we could actually do it separately on a completely new MIDI track uh, with a completely new sound. But let's see what sort of basic counter melody I can get. It sounds really cool. What happens though if I put two half times on it, just to see? That sounds really cool. All right, so I think I'm gonna actually leave it like that because I like the way it sounds. It might need to be pitched up ever so slightly. Um, I'm gonna add a few more effects on it as well. But in regards to how the piano just adds to the depth, the darkness of the track. I really like it. And again, guys, notice how I've got two half times, all right? So don't just use one and be like, oh, I'm, I'm limited now, I can't move forward. You can use more than one. Hey, if you want to use three, let's just see what it'll give us. I already know it's going to sound a bit too low. So let's have a listen to it. Yeah, not the best. So I'm going to stick with just two half times. I think that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's actually select all of them and I'm going to pull it up to... That sounds pretty cool. Maybe one semitone down, so at an F sharp. I'm just going to double this up. Now it sounds better. And what we want to do is we want to record this back into audio. So we're just going to root it. If you don't know how to do this, it's really simple. So you just want to um, root your addictive keys in or your VST in. Uh, select either auto or in is completely up to you. Uh, mute this track as well so you don't get no double feedback or you don't blast your ears off. Um, and arm record, that's it. And you just press record. That's perfect. Let me just... Unmute that, and that is great. I'm just going to mute out the MIDI now because we don't need it. So I'm just going to deactivate it. Just select all and press zero. And we can see that we've deactivated all the clips. So we've got this in audio. So why did I change this to audio? Well, there's a few things I want to do on here. I maybe want to reverse certain parts just like this as an example. Um, I might want to manipulate it further by using some granular synthesis. Um, you know, there's just so many different things we can do in audio compared to MIDI. However, MIDI is still really useful. I'm not saying change everything over to audio. Uh, in some cases, obviously, you want to use MIDI. In some cases, you want to use audio. So this case, obviously, I want to use audio. So let's uh, put a little bit of color onto this piano and the first thing I'm going to do is let's reach for some RC20. So automatically we can hear that noise come in. I'm going to turn that noise down. I'm going to increase the follow on there. And as I'm turning this up, we can hear that wobble going a little bit crazy. So I'm going to pop it a little bit lower. And if we want, we can sort of adjust this now slightly. So we could do a bunch of things. Again, we can transpose down uh, so we can get sort of that glitchiness that comes out of transposing down um, when we're using specific warp modes on the left hand side over here. So if I just pop that down by say one semitone. So we've still got our addictive keys. Now bear in mind because we have transpose this down one semitone, we will be in a different key now. Because that was the original MIDI. And obviously that's what the audio is doing. So just for the sake of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this down by one semitone and I'm just going to give this a different color as well so it just stands out from the rest because even though the rest are deactivated, um, it just helps me navigate slightly. Let's pop on an arpeggiator. Let's see what sort of sounds we can get with an op. So I'm going to select a quick sound on this. Uh, 
and let's go for maybe some sort of um, vocal line or something. So. Sounds really cool. And we've almost got most of our melodies. Now, I know we still need to do the bass melody and stuff, but in this video, I'm not going to be covering that. From here, we can do anything again we want. We can program the bass, we can do drums, we can do this, we can do that. Um, the world's your oyster here. Just have fun with it. Um, I sort of do some crazy stuff. As a little bonus tip, this is what I sometimes do on the master, right? I sometimes put some weird stuff on the master. So just as an example, let's do... Um, Let's get do, 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 portal and a little bit of half time again, but I'm going to put that half time before portal. I think I'm going to change that mix to 50%. Now it's going to sound a little bit weird. Sounds a tad weird, but as we progress and as we add more and more, you see how I'm just playing with all the sonics. All right, so do you hear what that is actually doing to the track? So if I take off all of this, I'm just going to group the stuff on the master. I'm just going to mute it out. You see that clean sort of sound it's given? We can ultimately make this much darker by using a little bit of halftime, some portal, some mishpi. And what I would actually do there is, I know that that piano sounds a little bit too damp and it sounds a little bit too low pitch, but I would essentially record my master back into a new audio track and then pitch it back up to create some sort of uh, new sound and it will sound pretty cool. So let's actually try doing that. And if you are doing this guys, remember to mute that master again because we don't want to double up on those effects obviously so let's have a listen to it now and that there sounds pretty cool now i could keep on tweaking it further and further and further uh but i think i'm going to stop there and that's going to be the end of this video because i don't want this video to be too long if you guys did love this content make sure you like you comment you subscribe to the channel there'll be more tutorials just like this and i will see you guys in the next one there's a little sneak peek of the track i actually moved it into fl studio as you can probably see here because fl is king for drill and king for trap can't beat the piano roll let's have a listen to it <laughs> Thank you.